My lawyer has gone over these trespass notices, which is not just for me, but all members of our company. And basically, in layperson's terms, uh, it is the opinion of my lawyer that uh, these are not worth the paper they're written on. All right, that's something you got to take up with the city. So we're going to have to leave the property. Well, I, I don't know what to tell you. I guess if I don't, you're going to put me under arrest? For trespass property, and you have to be exited off the property and then released. This guy, he's been officially trespassed, right? Right, so you can trespass as well. You're going to have to leave the property. Sir, I'm going to ask you to put your camera down. You're going to have to leave the property. I'm telling you guys to leave the property. Worry about yourself, okay? Get off the property. Okay, sir, walk faster. Get off the property. As a citizen of Brampton, um, how do you rate your mayor's behavior? He's a clown. I can't wait for him to finish. You get out, uh, it's unbelievable. David Menzies for Rebel News here in Brampton, Ontario. And before I get to our update on sneaky mayor Patrick Brown, folks, if you can, please go to journalistdefensefund.com. If we're able to, kick in a few bucks. Sometimes we need money for bodyguards. Sometimes we need money for lawyers' fees, such as today. And we really do depend on your generosity so that we can bring you the other side of the story. Well, we are here for the fourth Wednesday in a row. It's to try and scrum Patrick Brown to see if he will answer some questions, to see if he will correct the record regarding all the lies he has said about myself and Rebel News in the mainstream media. Now, last week when we came, we were unceremoniously kicked off here by the Peel Region Police. Uh, I didn't have a lawyer then, but I do have one today. So we're going to wait and see if uh, Patrick Brown and his Barry buddies come back to the arena here and play some more hockey. And once again, I will endeavor to get answers. And if I'm kicked off, uh, well, I'll try to stand my ground as much as I can in the name of freedom of the press. Let's see what happens. Good. How about yourself there? Good, thank you. Doing very well. Good, good. Thank you. So I'm sure you guys are aware that you're trespassing from all of the city of Brampton property. Well, that is the thing, sir. We we have your colleagues, I think, gave us these notices. This is your company stationery, right? Okay. And um, if I, my name is David Menzies with Rebel News, just in case you think I'm with Maple Leafs TV that doesn't exist. Uh, oh, and the police are here too, I see. Um, I'd like to introduce you to my lawyer, Joshua Halpern. Okay. And um, basically, uh, my lawyer has gone over these trespass notices, which is not just for me, but all members of our company. And basically, in layperson's terms, uh, it is the opinion of my lawyer that uh, these are not worth the paper they're written on. All right, that's something you got to take up with the city. Okay. But uh, in regards to filming or conducting interviews on city of Brampton property, okay. you got to register through the media relations department. Register, but this is a public place. This is taxpayer funded. I understand, but the way that we work here, we base things on prearranged. So if you were to prearrange this meeting, we can coordinate a, uh, accordingly. You know, that is a conundrum because I have tried and I've extended uh, my hand to Mayor Brown to have a sit down interview and go over all these allegations. And uh, he's always running away and uh, never entertains that. So uh, that is why we're here uh, trying to scrum him as he comes in for his hockey game. And um, he doesn't have to answer our questions. We're not going to go inside the facility. So yeah, but this, uh, this is still considered city of Brampton property. So I'm sure like you were told last time, you got to wait on the sidewalk, all right? Okay, well... Don't uh, conduct interviews on City of Brampton property. You need to register through the Media Relations Department. I mean, that's City of Brampton policy, but uh, we have constitutional rights, including freedom of the press. Uh, we have charter rights. And uh, hi, officer. How you doing there? Okay. So uh, I'm just explaining to the uh, guards here that... Um, we had ish been issued these trespass notices several weeks ago, but uh, 
My lawyer, Mr. Halpern, says that these are no way valid. I mean, it, it, they would not hold up in a court of law. And we're just here. We're not here to harass anyone. We're just trying to scrum Mayor Brown regarding several allegations, including some defamatory allegations against me. And I want to give him the opportunity to, uh, you know, uh, respond to those. Well, we don't even know if he's here. Given, we're just here to assist these guys with, I don't think you're here to use the facilities for we're just here to enforce trespass. I'm not going to do uh, an interview with you. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I, I'm just here to assist these guys to keep the peace. Okay. The Trespass Property Act, okay? All right. My opinions are important here. Um, like I said, I'm just here to enforce the Trespass Property Act. So if they've given you trespass notice. All right. Well, uh, this is my lawyer, Mr. Uh, Halpern. And um, uh, uh, Josh, maybe well, you'd like to speak to the officer? Uh, I mean... No, no, listen, they, this is not a trial. <laughs> Absolutely, listen, this isn't... I'm here to make a video. Right, but there's, you know, there, it's not about that. There's some urgency to the situation, right? So we can't wait for a meeting that's possibly never going to happen, right? So there is some urgency, you know, and, 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 and you know, they have a, th a third-party security company issue a trespass notice like this. I mean, they can call it whatever they want. It doesn't make it a trespass notice. You know, and again, there's... There's, so there's other avenues, but eight. Yeah, but but phone calls, you have meetings. I know that. So you go go avenues like that. You've been given the trespass notice, that, so we're that's the thing. They tried to do that, and and the situation is urgent. You know, like they can't wait six months for something that's never going to happen, right? You know, uh, this gentleman over here is exercising his constitutional rights, and that's it. Freedom of expression. You know, and we're not we're not causing any trouble, right? We're not trying to harass anyone. You know, given trespass notice, there's other avenues to go. You've got officers here. You've got guards here. We could all be. Like I'm trying to listen to the other calls that are going on too, and I understand you guys have concerns on that, but there's avenues to go about to, to talk to the mayor. You don't have to show up here where you don't even know if he's here. You're not here to use the facility, so. Well, he's been here, officer, the last three weeks in a row. We know that, uh, and 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 he's he's fully within his rights not to say anything to us or not answer the questions. I'm not going to go into the facility, uh, but uh, in terms of being in the public square, if you will, and asking questions. We have a, a charter right, a uh, constitutional right to do so. And there's other ways to challenge you. You've been given a trespass notice. We're just here to act on that. So, well, I, I, so you have to find them somewhere else, I guess, or try to go through the avenues that are correct instead of showing up to where you think you might be. We're just here trying to, to exercise freedom of expression. You keep saying that, you know, these are trespass notices and I respect, honestly, I really do respect your opinion. I'm not trying to you know, upset you or anything, but, you know, just calling it a trespass notice doesn't make it such. And, you know, the only thing that we're guilty of is uh, is basically, you know, affecting the mayor's enjoyment of using this arena, right? That's it. That's that's what we're guilty of, you know? If someone's leisure time is technically a bit of an offense, right? You, you can't affect someone's leisure time. If he's on of the arena. We'd have to go through everything. So I'm not going to sit here and argue with it. It's as simple as that. Oh, this isn't a valid trespass notice, though. That's the problem. And again, and, I understand. And I would love that. Honestly, I would love to go through those other means. Trespass notice. So you have to act on it. There's ways of going about to disagree. Well, it's security it's company. Like you, a ticket. you can disagree with it. But you don't just show up at the, the issuing police officer's place to argue. But, but officer, this is Paladin Security. They're a private security guard company. The, the, they've issued this ticket. That's their, their corporate logo on this. Uh, Contracted by the city. So go to the city to complain. Okay. Well, that doesn't make it valid just because a third party security company has been contracted. Right now, like I said, I'm not a judge or justice of the peace. I can't say it. that's a trespass to property act under the city of Brampton from a qualified contracted security company. So it's just as simple as that. I mean, you have my word of honor. I'm not going to even use harsh language. I'm just here to ask questions, uh, guys. And I'm sure in Peel region, there's a ton of other things that you could be spending your time on. So you're refusing to leave the property? Because I guess I am. Property act. It's an arrestable offense, right? Okay. Is that how bad you want some video footage that you want to sit here and push this issue? You've been given trespass notice. I, it's more than a video. It, it's about standing up for my constitutional rights, officer. That, that's why I'm here. And I'm not doing any harm. Hour of hockey. Pardon me? Are you worried about Patrick Brown's hour of hockey? I, I am, yeah. And, and, and the defamatory things. What do you do in your opinion? 
Well, I want to question him on all the defamatory things he said on other media. Uh, you know, because you've been trespassed, so you have to leave the property. Okay, well, I'm I'm staying here until he comes, sir. I'm... <laughs> like, is he? You guys are. This is the problem with the world today. Is <laughs> you think it's funny, but it's not. Like, you put us. You think this is what we want to do right now? No, and I, I don't want to be giving you guys respect the laws of the land that have been laid out. Like, I respect you, officer, and I respect your colleagues. You don't, because if you did, you would respect my wishes and ask you to not put us in this awkward position for a video and that you would respect the trespass notice you've been given under the trespass to property act which is an arrestable offense if you decline to leave when asked so we're gonna have to leave the property well i, I don't know what to tell you i guess if i don't you're gonna put me under arrest for trespass property and you have to be exited off the property and then released okay so we're done here we're gonna move now okay okay thank you so let's Okay. All right, sir, this guy, you've been, you've been officially trespassed, right? All right, sir, you've yeah. been trespassed as well. You're going to have to leave the property. Sir, uh, what, what, I'm going to ask you to put your camera down. You're going to have to leave the property. So we're getting removed. Let's go, man. You're getting removed. Okay, stop stepping back. Okay, I'm asking you to leave. I'm leaving. Okay, perfect. Step back that way. We're not going to do this slow way. I mean, I mean, you have to be in handcuffs and I'll have to do that, right? Sir. Sir, I'm stepping yep. up. I'm telling you guys to leave the property. Worry about yourself, okay? Get off the property. Okay, sir, walk faster, get off the Dude, property. You don't need to get aggressive with him. All right, well, on the advice of my lawyer, we will uh, walk to, uh, we can go to the sidewalk. So so we, we can indeed ask questions of Mr. Brown from the sidewalk then. If he stops, we can't enter the sidewalk property. Okay, okay. all right. So this is how things are done in the Democratic People's Republic of Brampton, folks. Um, you, <laughs> um, the police officer is saying something behind my back. Uh, we, we <laughs> I just want you to make sure you say everything. This, isn't, this is a Democrat society and we love it for it. Okay. That's why we have provincial offenses courts to dispute trespass to property acts. Okay. Well, it looks like if I don't comply, it'll be another incident of being handcuffed and put into a police cruiser. So we don't want that. So we're going to go to a sidewalk and I guess what um, yell questions <laughs> to uh, Patrick Brown's Mercedes uh, when he pulls in. And uh, again, this is this is sad how uh, freedom of the press is dealt with here in Brampton or Peel region. And guys, I have no malice with you. I, I really don't. And the security guards. I know you're all doing a job, but. Okay. Okay. Well, I stand corrected. I, I was not being yelled at, but um, sternly spoken to, I suppose, would be the right uh, answer. <laughs> Anyways. Well, folks, we've been waiting on the arrival of Patrick Brown. Looks like he's gone back to the original time of 5 o'clock ice as opposed to 4 o'clock. And lo and behold, uh, Curtis, who is a resident of Brampton, came by, expressed that he's a big fan of Rebel News. And Curtis, uh, I guess you've been following the videos we've been doing on Mayor Patrick Brown. As a citizen of Brampton, um, how do you rate your mayor's behavior? He's a clown. I can't wait for him to finish and get out. Uh, it's unbelievable. You know, it, it. we get the gist that in this city, there seems to be one law for thee, one law for me, that, you know, the very official signing things like the mandatory mask uh, bylaw into effect, as he did last July, himself doesn't wear uh, a mandatory mask. Well, whatever happened to leading by example? That's how it works. If, if you're the boss and you think you can run the whole show, and, well, look at Brampton. They voted for him. Look at that. Well, folks, I can tell you for the last two hours, we've been waiting on the sidewalk for uh, Patrick and his uh, Berry boys to come by and play a game of uh, pickup. But um, so far, nobody. It's almost 530. So if they were going to be playing at six, they would have been here by now. But um, maybe they've switched times again. It's later in the night. Maybe they've switched days. Who knows? But more importantly, Josh, what we just went through a few hours ago with the security guards with all those police officers what exactly was that they the police seemed to be convinced that those trespass notices written on 
uh, uh, stationery with a private company's logo on it was the binding law here in Brampton, and we have to actually challenge this in a court of law. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, those notices were completely bogus, and today we did nothing wrong. We were respectful the entire time. We weren't harassing anyone. The only thing we're guilty of is affecting the mayor's leisure time, is affecting his enjoyment, uh, you know, at this ice arena. Uh, but um, yeah, no, today was completely ridiculous how they had four cop cars, you know, they, and, then they, and then they were complaining that we were wasting their resources, right? <laughs> You know, it's, it's, it's preposterous. You know, it makes you wonder too, Josh, who called the police. And I, I can't, again, City of Brampton seems to be the realm of double standards. If you or I were having trouble with, say, our neighbor asking us impolite questions and we phoned 911 and said, can you get a few cruisers out here? Uh, I don't like the question of my neighbor, uh, the question that my neighbor is posing of me. I think we'd be laughed off the phone or maybe even charged for making a, a frivolous 911 call. What are your thoughts? Absolutely. I mean, this is uh, what they did to us today was this pure bullying. And we were just trying to exercise our charter rights you know, our 2B rights, freedom of expression. And uh, what they did is just is, is so unconstitutional. And that's it. So, um, looks like when it comes to Hockey Night in Brampton, this one is going into overtime. For Rebel News, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, if you want to see all our reports regarding Mayor Brown, please go to sneakypatrick.com, that's sneakypatrick.com. You can read all about it and see our videos. And hey, while you're there, if you're able to, please make a donation.